Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to create a parametric walkway hex in Revit. Actually, for this parametric walkways, most tutorials from another YouTuber, they like to make it with a dynamo, but Today, I will give you a quick instruction just using your curtain panel pattern best and create some or smash form to apply that. It's a very quick one. And before I get things started, I would like to ask you, and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about Revit, make sure to hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notifications if you don't want to miss my future tutorial now it's pretty much for introduction about our walkway hex in revit let's jump into our project together okay so here we are in revit architecture interface so what i'm going to do first in order to make our parametric walkway firstly i'm going to create our mask form by go to our masking and size and go to our inflex mask then mask one Okay, sorry about that. Actually, I need to create some reference plan first. So I'm going to hit cancel mask first. Then RP for shortcut key. Just make it straight one. Then make it for number one for name. Hit escape a couple of times. Then go to our mask form. Then in place mask again. It's okay. Then I'm going to our sound elevation. Go to our rectangle. Then here is our indicator, our work plan. I'm going to use it for name. Change it to reference plan one. It's the number one that we created before. Then just straight away draw it like this. Hit escape a couple of time. Now I want to adjustment it because I just want it five meter by four meter. Let's make it for five meter. Hit escape a couple of time. Then go to our level one. Select our rectangle co for shortcut key for copy then make sure you unconstrained on your modify line then i just drag away make it for 30 meter hit escape a couple of time go back to my 3d as you can see here and here i need to copy as well because we just copy from the right side left side and the bottom only and we can tie it for 30 meter as well same as before hit escape a couple of time as you can see here now we got two point is two point of our rectangle so what are we going to do next i'm going to select all of them then just drag away create a form solid form start from front side and select our surface like this let's turn around we just want our surface only okay like this front side RO for rotate, I'm going to rotate it for I want 45 degree. Okay, perfectly. Then I'm going to select all of them like this, the Y surface. Then I'm going to select here. We real like this. Turn on for notice in our surface and going to type it for 20. It's apply. Okay, perfect. Then another one. We use the same methods of before, like this. And of course, don't forget to make it for 20 because I want our node is balanced. Let's here again. We create like this. Okay, 20. Okay, from the bottom one, we haven't created yet. It's like here. We create, turn off, not this, like this. Make it for 20s is apply okay as you can see here so what about our surface about our surface we just turn it off for you grill and we grill and of course don't forget to turn on for notice okay perfect turn around like this just turn off okay perfectly as you can see here so now it's time to create our pattern. Go to our file, go to new, then family. I will change it for metric. Where is it? Okay, 
here. Then I'm going to adjustment it, make it for four meter by four meter like this point from here hit as get. Uh I think I don't want to make it bigger, just make it for one meter by one meter. Okay, select here. Select for point here, hit escape a couple of times, set up a plan, strike away, draw a rectangle like this. Yep, something like this, like here, then select all of them, create form, solid form, and select all of our solid form, go to material type. Of course, I'm going to create a new material as well. Rename straight away rename it for woods because I want to make it for wood apparent libraries obviously you can apply any material that you want on our apparent library but for me I prefer using for wood because it's a common sense for our parametric walkway it's applied then it's okay let's straight away try it for realistic okay we haven't applied yet let's go it again I think we got minor issue about that. Apply it again. Okay, perfect. Load into our projects. Go to our 3D. Then how could you apply that since this set is slanted like this? So I'm going to press CM for shortcut key. Then just drag away like our point here. Second. And third. And four. It has get a couple of times as you can see here. Then select here. Just repeat our process as you can see here we got a quite rotation for our wood walkways so I'm going to hit finish but as you can see here our mask is keep reminding so how could we hide all of them bad let's go to our messing inside then unsold mask as you can see here our nose pin showing up so we're going to use our shortcut key and hide our mask by vg for visibility graphic then turn off for mask here as you can see here apply it's okay as you can see it's gone so start from top view architecture tab floor rectangle i want to offset it for 150 yep start from here like this yep like this then i'm going to hit finish hit the tab apply a new material as well concrete i want concrete cast in plus okay this guy over there it's okay apply it's okay go to our camera there just drag away and make it like this yep as you can see here so i can move it around just move it up until like this i think we need to go our front view first then we can move it up okay go to our 3d one as you can see here make it like this okay it's more realistic okay it's more realistic graphic display option i want to turn on for show ambient shadow also and of course you can change background to gradient it's apply and it's okay as you can see here it's quite nice for our parametric walkway can see here okay and you can explore it by go to file if you want to explore in our image file you just go to your file over there then go to explore then go to image go to image there then you can rename it and choose location in your computer or your desktop where you want to put and of course for the pixel there you need to you might be need to add it for more i mean for 5000 or 4000 in order to make a higher resolution 
I know it's over here, but it's easier for you guys import to Photoshop or Illustrator to create your project reference or presentation in your project for this. So you just look about this. That is another bonus for you guys for how to explore the image just in case you guys don't know about that. Okay, that's it. Okay, guys, it's pretty much for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned some a quick tip for this tutorial about parametric walkway that you don't need to use the dynamo to make that. Thank you guys for watching and I see you for another tutorial in Revit. And before I finish it, if you like this tutorial, make sure hit subscribe button below if you are first time here because your like and your subscriber is motivate me to bring more professional content about Revit. Okay, thank you again. I see you for another tutorial in Revit and have a nice day. Thank you.